Hey guys, it's Jana, and welcome to Pinch of Luck. Today we are going to make Deadpool cookies. These are red velvet cookies, they're gonna be so yummy. And Deadpool is my kind of superhero, with a smart mouth and sarcastic humor. Love it. All the ingredients and tools we will be using will be down in the description below. So let's get lucky. First we gotta make our cookie. This is a red velvet cake cookie. It's gonna be so soft and yummy. Well, at least it should be. I'm excited to try. So I have my big mixer out here and we are just going to cream together a half cup of softened unsalted butter, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one cup of sugar. It takes about three minutes to get it nice and creamy. Now we're gonna add in two room temperature eggs, one fourth cup sour cream, two tablespoons of cocoa powder, and three fourths tablespoon of red food coloring. Now we're gonna add in two cups of flour and one teaspoon of baking powder. Have our batter all mixed up here, so now we're gonna spray down some cookie sheets with some baking pan. My favorite. And we're gonna use our scooper to get all our cookies pretty much the same size. We are gonna put these in the oven at 350 for about eight to 10 minutes, and then we are going to let them cool for about three minutes on the pan and then switch them over to the cooling rack. To get the nice round shape before you throw these cookies in the oven, just go ahead and squish them down a little bit with your hands so that they can come out nice and round. Okay, we got them out of the oven. They are all cooled off. And I had some ugly ones, so I got to taste them and it's very yummy. This recipe ended up making two and a half dozen cookies for your enjoyment. So now we just need to decorate. We get to put the Deadpool symbol right on our cookie. I have my black fun in here. I'm gonna grab some of this and sprinkle my table with some powdered sugar and start rolling out my fondant. Now I have my circle cookie cutters here. I'm going to pick which size I believe will be good on our cookie. So we are going to do this size. This is the third size up and we're just gonna start cutting circles. Now while our table is all nice and powdery, we are going to do our white. I just need a little bit of this so I'm just gonna use my smaller roller. Now I just want a smaller circle, so I actually have the shell of a pen that I have used before on some other projects. It works out just fine. It's a little bit bigger of a pen, so that's what I'm gonna use. And now we just wanna clean it all up. I taped down some parchment paper here so I can have a little working surface, so I have all of my pieces here together so we can put it all together. I have some Dab and Hold edible adhesive, my X-Acto knife, and some decorator brushes. I'm just gonna pour some of my adhesive into a little bowl. I'm gonna grab a black circle and we are going to cut a strip right out of the middle so we can make the little half circles for his mask. And then we're gonna glue it down to our cookie and then we are gonna grab our little white circles and cut those in half and we'll shape them just a little bit and glue those down for the eyeballs. Awesome. Just keep deadpooling all of your cookies. Wow, there we have it guys. He looks awesome and terrifying. These were so easy to make guys. This is so awesome. I'm so excited. I know a lot of you are excited for this movie to come out. So here you go, have some cookies. I think we got lucky. If you make these, send me a picture on Twitter, and if there's anything you wanna see, just leave a comment down below. And as always, if you loved it, like it, subscribe to it, and share it. Thanks, guys. Mwah. Well, I gotta try one. is good.